Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. our way to the Craft Pride, which is a bar here in Austin, Texas. It has a bunch of craft beers. We're gonna go check that out. Right now we're at the Congress Bridge, and I don't know if you can hear it or not, but there's 1.5 million bats living under this bridge, and they're like, we can hear them chirping right now. And supposedly at sunset, they go crazy, and they all leave, and they all go out for the night, but we're gonna stick around and like watch that, kind of check out the area and see what's up. An awesome experience. We went to Rainy Street, we checked out a few bars there, we checked out a bar here on 6th Street, and then we also went to the Congress Bridge to wait for the bats, which actually never showed up or never left. They were definitely there because we could hear them chirping like literally all night, but they did not leave the bridge. We got a full day ahead of ourselves. What are we doing? We're gonna go get breakfast at Snoozes, then we're gonna go to Franklin's, then we're gonna come back here, grab some spray paint, we're gonna go spray paint some walls at Hope Springs, and then we're gonna go fishing for a little bit on Ladybird Lake, and then we're going to the food truck food park in Austin, and we're gonna be bringing you with us. Let's go. If you're in Austin and you find yourself eating for breakfast, you need to check out Snoozes. That was honestly probably the best breakfast I've ever had in my life, ever, ever. Service was phenomenal, coffee was hot. It was amazing. Come here, tell me about your breakfast. How was it? Tell my friends about your breakfast. <laughs> hey friends. Um, I had the breakfast pot pie, so sausage gravy with a crisp layer of breading on top and then a sunny side up egg. It was amazing. Highly recommend. We'll try to make it at home if possible. <laughs> Would not come out as good. Definitely not, but definitely check out snoozes and from here it's, it's turning into a food day the first half of our day is gonna be food we're going straight to Franklin's to get some brisket we're gonna get the platter probably the meat medley yeah medley we're gonna meet medley it up it's gonna be an awesome day Adding to the adventure. Franklin's is friggin' closed. They had a fire. So we won't be having any Franklin's. We're gonna go find some other no barbecue or something. Medley. No meat medley for us, but you know, you know, we'll figure something out. More food probably on the way. Where should we go? What's the deal now? We're Find supposed the to. The second best barbecue in Austin. The second best barbecue <laughs> in Austin.
so we went to Voodoo Donuts, which was freaking awesome. Uh, what did we get? Fruit Loop Donut? Fruit Loop and Cocoa Puffs. Definitely give those a shot. Mm. They're amazing. Four, Too good. Four ninety five for two gourmet donuts and a milk. Yeah, I thought it was going to be like 12 bucks. It was super, super cheap. But we're going to run back to the spot now. We're going to pick up our climbing shoes and go to Brooklyn Boulders, which is a climbing gym here in nope. Austin. Brooklyn Boulders, which is a climbing gym here in Austin. Yeah. Brooklyn Boulders is a climbing gym in New York. <laughs> we are going to Austin Boulder Project. That's what, yeah, we're going there. So going to get a climb in and then do that for like two or three hours, come back, go to the graffiti park, and then go fishing and catch a giant. Is he? Look, this just fell and hit my hand. Part of a shell. Look. There is a squirrel up in this tree, so we literally sat down and we're busting open some of these nuts for this squirrel. And it took the nuts that we busted open. Now it's up in the tree eating them and throwing them at so it's actually really funny. Last time I found them. Found them. Found them. There's the culprit. He gone. He saw my nut off, right? <laughs> places ever which is Sport Rock and Earth Treks back in DC. Uh, I'm super stoked to climb here. How are you feeling about it? So much room for activities. So much room for activities. Let's go. Last shot on the orange one, then we're gonna go get some barbecue. He's got it. She's gonna finish, we're gonna come back tomorrow real early, get one more climb in before we have to head home, but she's gonna finish the purple one tomorrow. I'm gonna give the orange one one last shot and roll. Let's go. Donuts to take home.
then I'm gonna try to get some fishing in. Probably got like two hours of daylight left, but uh, we might be able to get it done. This day has been like a freaking marathon. We've done a little bit of everything. I got two rods. She's gonna throw a bait caster, which probably hasn't done in a very long time. So two rods, one paint. Two rods. Is that it? Yeah. All right. Our last day in Austin we are heading back to Austin bouldering project we've got to finish some of those climbs we didn't finish yesterday then we're gonna to go to the graffiti park spray paint a little bit and head back home So close. Now I'm gonna get the orange one. We are at our probably last stop of this trip. It is Hope Outdoor Gallery, and it's a bunch of legal graffiti. It's really cool. Some One of our Uber drivers told us to come here. Uh, this used to be a huge house, and basically the lady tore it down and said, opened it up as a gallery. You can come spray paint here. 
Uh, so there's a bunch of graffiti. It's really, really sick. So we're gonna spray paint some stuff and head back to the house. <laughs> there you go. It's all about the you, baby. It's all about the you. Very good. This place is sweet. You guys ever come to Austin? So many things for you to do. We've literally been on the run for the last 36 hours. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Can't even tell what that is. It's supposed to be a letter S, but I think it looks like a old-fashioned donut now. <laughs>